Hi, welcome to Empowered. Today we're going to learn how to use OpenLP's custom stage views to create a transparent background lower third to be used in OBS. Right, here we are. I found this out to create a lower third in OBS using custom stage views is quite a unique thing to do. So here, OpenRP, in their wisdom, has made the ability to make it your own stage view because not every church is going to be exactly the same or exactly how you want it. But in this case, we're going to be using it with OBS. So what you'll need to do, you can find these files yourself, but I'm going to give you a link very shortly, which is here. Let me have a look at over here. Yep, here on Google Drive, which has all these files already for you, already pre-made. But what basically what you do is you take the existing stage view and then you create a custom view. And you do that by creating a new folder in your data folder or data folder. I always get those things confused. And we have to do, we have to create a folder called stages and we're going to be putting in our correct folder and we're going to be putting this, these files, which is the stage html stage css and stage js into this folder so let's without further ado let's do that so let's copy this over and download this down so we're going to copy that and we're going to download that into here we're going to open it up so here's the trans third zip we've got these items so we want to download this and we want to, I'm just going to open it with um, the archive manager. Now what I'm going to do, we've got it here now. So let me just minimize that. Okay, so now we've got the file that we need, the files window. Because we look in here, we've got the three files in here. We're going to move these files into the data folder, the data folder. So we're going to run OpenLP. So here we go. Let's go to my OpenLP. Oh, okay, OpenLP. And we're going to run it here. To find your data folder, you simply go to View. Oh, you go to Tools and Open Date Data Data Folder. And here we need to create a folder called Stages. So we create a folder called Stages. Okay. Now, this is a custom one that I've made already, so I'm just going to double check in my stage HTML here. If I open with a text editor, I can show you what I'm looking for. And we need to open this one up as well. We'll do both of those as well, so that's, that's pretty cool. Um, where? Here, stage HTML. And we've got a special name for it that we've used, which is here, trans third. So we're also going to create a folder inside here called trans third now this these procedures are going to be basically the same whether using Windows or Mac so don't worry so you still create a folder trans third and we're going to copy these files over here into that folder okay we're basically good as done let me just quickly run through what we are doing here so we modified the stage HTML to include just this. Okay, so we just have a head, a body, and a closing. We point it to our custom style sheet, a customization, but we don't need to worry about that too much. This is where you can modify how it looks. Change the font here. It has to be a font that's currently installed in your system. And you can change the position where you display your lyrics. Okay, it's very manual, but if you know a little bit about HTML and, cast and CSS, cascading style sheets, you can do anything you want. But the important thing is, you must have a div, div with the current slide in it. This is the most important part. This, the program will then automatically use your remotes or whatever to display the correct lyrics accordingly. You modify the layout and design in your cascading style sheets. Now in here, Anything around this, you can put anything you want. You can modify it. It is just a simple web page. So you can change it or want, you can display it how you want if you understand how to do it. But you'll see what I've done so far and I think it looks quite good. 
So let's minimize out of that. Let's see how we look this up. Okay, so we'll minimize that as well. We'll minimize that as well. Okay, we've got OpenRP here. We need to make sure that our remote is enabled, which is it here. We need to make sure we have this URL. We've got the stage view URL. So we want to copy that link location. We want to add a song to our service so we're ready to go. And I've pre-set one up here with the necessary things. You notice here, we have got a standard display. We're not using the green screen. We're just going to leave it like this. The custom stage view will automatically put it in the right place. Put these two lines at the bottom as we need it. We'll remove all the footers and the headers that we've got that we need in our church service, but this will display something different on the stage view for OBS. So do you remember when we looked at the here, we looked at here, stages trans third. We can then use this, let's bring this up again, to verify what's going on. So we're going to paste that and we're going to put trans third. And look, we have the first line of the li slides there. So we know it's working. So now let's go over to OBS. Oh, not that one, this one. That was a nice double shot of myself, so let's not get confused. So what we need to do Okay, let's create a new scene. Okay, start from the beginning. And we're going to put in a background. Uh, let's, so what I've decided is just go to a static background. You can put a video or anything like that. So I'll, well, you can do that yourself. But anyway, I've got a nice colored background. Also what I will put in here is a browser source. And we're going to create a new one. We can open LP. lower okay okay we're gonna paste that in and we're also going to put in trans third i got it right oh yes i have okay i'm going to set the width and height to the correct size so the width is my screen size okay and there we go, we've got this frame per second, high load, prades, and that can all be left back. And then we just go OK. So as you can see, we have got the lower third appearing in that. And I can even get my remote working. Let's see if I can do that right now. Give me another second. So now I'm going to use the OBS remote to show you exactly that it does work. It can change through between all the little slides. I didn't add a chroma key, I didn't add anything else, I just simply added a browser source, pointed it to, to our new custom, custom stage, and Bob's your uncle, so to speak. Okay. So. so there you have it. OpenRP has a custom stage view, which you can use to generate your own customized viewport, separately from what you display in the church service yourself. So. Have fun with it, use the files, download the files as a quick start. Makes it a lot quicker and easier and a lot tidier than using green screen, um, the green screen te te technique that I used before. So, all the best, till next time.